as we all know, the wars come really, really long time ago. And the wars are because a lot of stuff like and things like territory and petroleum and stuff like that. I will tell you about disadvantages and advantages of the war. First thing is the disadvantages. One disadvantage is that we don't have education for the people because we are in war, so we can have education with, like that. Another disadvantage is that the people, innocent people, is dying in the war, so like people like children is dying there. And another disadvantage is the infrastructure is damaged because the wars. Now I will talk to you about the advantages of the war. One advantage advantages is that they we have now we have better technology because the wars and we develop better technology because of this. Another advantage is that we have internet. The internet was created by the military <clears throat> and now we communicate by the internet too. As we know, a lot of countries buy a lot of weapons and stuff like that, so this generates uh, money and employs to a lot of people that are working doing weapons. Now I will give you some disadvantages at another time. Another disadvantage is that that the economy of the countries is really affected by the wars. Another thing is that we are destroying the natural resources that we have in our country because of the wars, and this is really bad for us. And for me, this is one of the most important disadvantages, and is that we, when we have a war, the country has to come and generate a lot of things so it can be a good country another time so it's really slow to do a country another time now as we all know the war have a lot of disadvantages and really mm, uh, bad advantages because they are not really advantages for me so we see that the advan disadvantages are really bad for us, so mm -hmm. we don't have to be in the disadvantages. For me, we don't have to make war, we only have to love each other and have peace.